Search GPT is officially here and it's going to change the landscape of SEO forever. So in today's video, I'll be showing you guys how to use Search GPT, but more importantly, how to benefit from Search GPT and not just only lose clicks or lose visitors, but gain more clicks and visitors by utilizing this new search platform. If you don't know what Search GPT is, it's a new feature from ChatGPT, which essentially allows you to access the live web. The main restriction with ChatGPT in the past was that it was only trained on information um, up to a certain point, but now you can access live information, sort of like Google integrated with ChatGPT. So for example, I started off by asking Search GPT, what is the current mortgage news in Canada? And once you click the search icon, then it will use the search mode and it will give you live and updated information. So it's giving me information from November 1st, 2024. As you can see, that is today's date. So I'm getting more up-to-date information quicker and I can click on those actual sources. Uh, I'll be able to see those sources. So it's essentially concising all of that information into one place compared to if I went over to Google and I searched the same keyword, what is the current mortgage news in Canada? We can see here that, you know, we would get the traditional Google search where we'd have to go through each website apart from the AI overview. Um, so this is definitely going to change the way that we people search things, right? Because if I can just do any, any, everything inside of ChatGPT, it saves me time. I get every, every, all my information in one place, and then I can then chat with the AI. I can say, write an article about this information, so on and so forth. So everything's all in one place, and it's definitely going to take users away from Google um, to ChatGPT. ChatGPT gets over 200 million visitors per week, I believe. And so you can imagine that some of those users will definitely be using ChatGPT instead of using Google. So that could be very scary because as a website, that means you're probably going to lose some traffic or Google is going to have a little bit less of a market share when it comes to search. So that just means that we just need to pivot our strategy. Your goal should be that when someone searches up something on ChatGPT or search GPT, that your website is being shown on these specific sources. So of course we don't know we don't know exactly where um, search GP is pulling that information from. I would probably estimate that if you're ranking high on Google, then search GPT will also rank you high within their um, search query results. So you still need to optimize for Google. You still need to create really really good content, and you still need to focus on being an authority within your space. And if you do so you can now benefit from getting traffic from Google, but also getting traffic from search GPT and these other platforms like perplexity AI as well. So I don't think it really changes the strategy of how you approach your websites and the things that you do, but you just also need to keep in mind that you need to do your best to show up on places like search GPT. And that just really comes by becoming an authority within your space, really focus on creating high quality content, building backlinks, building authority and being a real, business with real results, with real users and real customers. It's going to be very hard for niche sites, I think, to rank for you know keywords um, or to rank on search GPT because again, it probably uses a variety of different factors to show, to decide what it shows on search GPT. Another cool feature of search GPT, um, I search up best SEO agencies in Canada. This is more of like a local term. As you can see here, we get a nice globe, right? And then we can see the icons of those specific SEO agencies. So we can see search engine people, and we can see that that's number one, we go to number two, number three, and so on. So again, this is a different way of searching, right? Search has been the same for probably the last 15 to 20 years or even longer than that. But we see now this is a significant change. Perplexity, I kind of started that, but I think ChatGPT is really going to progress and evolve the way that we search. Um, so I don't see, Google having such a big market share when it comes to search. So we just need to sort of pivot and make sure that we're also keeping in mind how to optimize and get search traffic from uh, search GPT compared to Google only. So as you can see, local searches are a little bit different as well. Um, so we can go through that. It's kind of like the Google um, map pack as well that we're getting here, but again, in a different place. And as you guys can see, it's very easy for you to, again, go to that website. You can even click call from here and you will be able to call um, from that. So you know, it's integrating all of the ability to get to those web websites and the ability to convert, but just in a different place. And again, if we go to sources, on the right hand side here, I can see all of my sources, which is the search results, which looks like a typical um, Google search, but again, it's all on search GPT and I can click on those websites. So you still need to continue your SEO strategy. 
but your goal should be now Google and also search GPT. So if you're looking um, to optimize your content, if you're looking to rank, then this is again something to you guys need to keep in mind. I highly suggest that you guys play around with search GPT. I'm sure there's a lot more that you can do with it. It's very, very cool. You get access to Google, you get access to um, instant information. If you also want, you can download the the Chrome extension. So if I search up search GPT Chrome extension, the Chrome extension essentially allows you to turn your browser into um, chat GPT's search GPT. So anything you search up in your browser will go straight to um, chat GPT and it'll search from there. So this is pretty cool because again, um, it allows you to then not necessarily have to use Google as your default search engine. You can actually have your default search engine to be search GPT again, which is, I think, very, very um, transformational. I think right now there's going to be sort of a learning curve of users integrating it, but eventually there will be a lot of users that uh, prefer to use search GPT over Google. So I just want to do a quick video so you guys can stay ahead, stay um stay in the loop of what's going on and make sure you can future proof your business and your website and do the right things to make sure that you can benefit from these changes and not fall um, below. So I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. I will see you in the next video. Take care.